is devaluation or falling exchange rate is inflationary. Now most people focus on the effect on the balance of payments and consequent increase in aggregate demand to explain inflation. But I would like us to consider the more important and more likely consequence of devaluation, which is its effect on inflation via import prices. In this case, of course, we are considering pound sterling, we're looking at this from the point of view of the United Kingdom, and a devaluation in sterling means that the external price, the price of pounds in terms of modern dollars, falls. If we wish to buy a product imported from Hong Kong, whose price remains constant at 120 Hong Kong dollars, we will see its price rise in the UK from 10 pounds to 12. Imports make up a large amount of the consumer price index in the UK, between 25 and 33 percent. And so, a rise in import prices will automatically be inflationary when incorporated into the consumer price index. The UK imports many raw materials: wood, plastics, oil. These things, when imported, must be more expensive. So even in the production of a product which is made entirely within the borders of the UK, if it uses imported components, it will have cost push pressure. A domestic manufacturer importing no raw materials will still see the risk of inefficiency because he will be competing against products which are imported and more expensive, or domestically produced and more expensive because of their imported inputs. He is therefore more likely to give high wages, have reduced productivity, than if the exchange rate had remained at one pound twelve dollars. It is of course entirely possible that the balance of payments improves. This is dependent upon the marginal earning condition that elasticities of exports and imports are sufficiently high to improve the balance of payments. But if the balance of payments improves, then other things equal aggregate demand will rise. Whether this aggregate demand increase leads to an increase in the price level, of course, depends upon the gradient of the aggregate supply curve. And so, an increase in AD course inflation if the aggregate supply curve is not that 